your boy Zone Jones, and this is my uh my review. Excuse me, this is my review of the Monday Night War we had today, TNA versus WWE. No other, no other battle we had today, and I gotta say that I don't care who won. I don't care who won the ratings, who had the biggest rating. I don't care because that, because in my opinion, TNA was better than the WWE. Bottom line, from the first hour to the second hour to the third hour. In my opinion, TNA was way better than WWE. You know, TNA started off with an asylum match, an escape match, whatever you want to call it. This match was good, but, you know, it just ended weird. You know, it just really it ended weird. It ended in a DQ. <laughs> you know, you got a DQ like a cage match, you know, a cage type match in a DQ. Despite the fact of all that, I thought it was good, and I was actually shocked that Jeff Hardy, I repeat, Jeff Hardy, the charismatic enigma, the guy from WWE, from one of the Hardy boys, he was there. He was there. He attacked Homicide. He hit him with a chair. So Jeff Hardy was there, and he, he cut his hair. Jeff Hardy can't cut his hair. Uh, he dyed his hair like black and brown, or maybe like a brownish gold. But you know, other than that, Jeff Hardy was there. I don't know if he got a deal with TNA or not. But you know, Jeff Hardy was there. I was shocked to see him there. But you know, other than that, you know, other than the DQ in this match, I thought the match was good, in my opinion. And you know, Raw was just. Raw, you know, you had what you expected. Everybody watched Raw for Bret Hart and see what he was going to do with Shawn Michaels and what he was going to say to Vince. And, you know, the first thing they show is Bret Hart. He comes out. And, you know, Bret Hart, you know, his pop, his pop was, I guess his pop was okay. His pop was decent you know, from, from, from the fans, from the crowd. His pop was decent at best. But it, I don't think it was louder than Hulk Hogan. And Hulk Hogan has, you know, the impact zone. If it's a few hundred people at best, and that you know he's in a stadium, and you know that's thousands and thousands of people. But you know, other than that, you know this altercation. You know, I thought the altercation was pretty good. I was intrigued by it, and uh, you know, this basically started off with Bret Hart was saying, "Well, I want to bury a hatchet." Basically, so Bret's going to be a baby face. Basically, Bret Bret wanted to bury the hatchet with Shawn Michaels. When Shawn Michaels came out, he said he wanted to bury the hatchet. He didn't want to add no more heat to the situation and he stuck his hand out for Shawn Michaels to shake his hand. And what Shawn Michaels had basically said was that he really, he, that what he had did to him, the screwing up Bret Hart, he said he deserved it. That's what Shawn Michaels said. He, that's how Shawn Michaels did. He felt like he deserved it. So despite the fact all that, that he said all that, you know, those harsh words, he shook his hand. And even as he was getting ready to head the ring, it looked like he was going to give him that super kick. But he did super kick him. He hugged him. He hugged Bret Hart. These guys hugged, hugged each other. A <laughs> history been making. You know that was, that's where you take the picture right there. You know if you if you're in the crowd, you take the picture right there when those guys are hugging each other. Bottom line. But you know I thought that segment was pretty good. And uh, other than that, you know, really there's really nothing else to talk about Raw. Nothing, nothing big really happened on Raw. Nothing really else big is, is worth talking about on Raw. At least in my opinion. There's other than things with Bret Hart. In which I, which I pretty much knew you know, that that was going to happen. But on TNA, you have a situation where Hogan comes in, and you know, he had a loud pop. He had a loud pop from the crowd. And Ric Flair was there. Ric Flair was there. Ric Flair was rumored to be there, and he was there. He got a, uh, a pretty loud pop from the fan, and that pop was probably bigger than Bret Hart's, too. You know, probably. You know, but that's just my opinion. But, you know, Ric Flair was there. There was other guys there. Hall, uh, Six Pac, X Pac, whatever you want to call him, Shaw Woman. He was there. Uh, these guys was there. And their first segment basically was with Hulk Hogan. When Hulk Hogan came out, you know, he got his big fan. You know, he got his big fan crowd action. His daughter was there. And, you know, Hogan basically came out saying, well, <laughs> we're going to be the best and we're going to take over the pro wrestling. And when these guys came out, Hall, uh, Hall and Six Pot, they came over the barricade. He said, well, we're going to do it like the old days. We're going to make all this money. You're going to fill up all these arenas and, you know, basically do what they were doing in WCW. And Hogan basically said, whoa, 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 no, not here, not, not in TNA. This is a different place. This is a different time. And they didn't take kindly that. After a while, I was sure while Kevin Nash came out, and he basically said, well, what are you, what are you talking about? It's going to be like the old days. Basically, and Hogan said, no, it's not going to be like the old days. Then Eric Bischoff came out. And, you know, this is when you have your NWO moment, basically. And, you know, 
other than that, you know, these, you know, everything is pretty good in my opinion. These guys were good. This segment was good. This segment was long, which it should be. You know, anything with Hogan probably should have been pretty long or a decent length. But, you know, this segment was long, which it should be. I, I thought I thought these segments were better than the segments in the WWE period, even ones without Bret Hart or even ones with Bret Hart or, or just as good. But, you know, despite the fact that, you know, all, I just think the fact that all that, that, you know, there was really nothing to talk about on Raw, period. I watched a couple of the matches. I watched the Shawn Michaels, you know, Diaz versus Jericho show. That, that match was decent. And I was shocked that the Divas match was out during the Knockouts match. So which one did you watch? I watched the Knockouts match. The Knockouts match, they were they were pretty decent. You know, I felt like they did they delivered uh, the ODB match versus Tara. Tara, that was a little short. But, no, I, I'm okay with that. But, you know, to me, TNA was just better than, and, and it's just better than the WWE on the entertainment part, on the wrestling part, you know, period. They were just a better all-around show. So they killed them on the wrestling part. They killed them on the entertainment part. They probably going to, WWE's probably going to kill them on, on the ratings part. You know, that's the only, that's the best thing they can hope for is kill them on the ratings part. But, you know, I don't care what the rating is because I had fun. I enjoyed myself. I felt like I was... 12 years old, I felt like I did back in 97, 98, 99, 2000, and 2001. I believe that's when WCW went out. I felt, I felt like back then. I felt like, felt like a kid again, basically. So, that's just what I thought of the show. I enjoyed everything, basically. I enjoyed everything. I enjoyed all TNA's matches, all of them. Desmond Wolf and... And uh, the Pope, these guys, you know, I hope these guys go into angle together. These guys had a really, really good match in my opinion. So these, probably, these guys probably going to go into angle together. Oh, and Orlando Jordan, he was there. Orlando Jordan, there really wasn't nobody in WWE. He won the United States Championship. But I remember when Chris Benoit made him tap out within like 15 or 10 or 8 seconds at SummerSlam. But, you know, other than that, you know, he, he, is, he is a good talented wrestler, I'll, I'll say that. But, you know... And it was just a better show, in my opinion. That's just me and what I think. So this was on Jones. Please comment. Please subscribe. And I'm out.